nyingi for us to understand. Hata kiasi kwamba ni ngumu zaidi kwetu sisi kuelewa. Hallelujah. When Paul was teaching, wakati Paul alipokuwa anafundisha, Peter could not understand all this what this lawyer was teaching. Petero angeweza kuelewa kile ambacho alikuwa anafundisha. But the spirit of God. Lakini ule roho wa Mungu enabled them to understand. Aliwawezesha wao kuelewa. I want to speak about uh what Walking by faith, living by faith, and walking by faith. Nataka kuzungumza kuhusu kuishi kwa imani na hata kutembea kwa imani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, when I was in a primary school, wakati nilipokuwa katika shule ya msingi, they used to teach us how to compose or to make up a sentence. Walikuwa wanatufundisha jinsi ya kutengeneza sentensi. And how to use grammatical words. Na hata kujinsi ya kutumia yale maneno ambayo ni when you uh, when you traveling somewhere mahali, because they could ask us and many times we could fail kwa sababu wakati mwingine wangeweza kutuuliza na hata wakati mwingine tungeshindwa because our mother tongue kwa sababu lugha yetu ya mama it could not bring the rightful grammatical arrangement of the sentence kwa sababu haingeweza kuleta zile herufi zikiwa zinafatanishwa jinsi inavyofaa I went to town with a bus. Ninaposema kwamba nilienda mjini kwa basi. I went to school with a, a car. Nilienda shuleni na gari. English card it was wrong. Kweli haikuwa inafaa vile. But in my mother language it was right. Lakini katika lugha ya mama ilikuwa ni sawa. Uh, we were beginning to think about why teachers were strict that we must learn that. Kitu wakati niliendelea kufikiria ni kwa nini walimu walingangana kwamba lazima tujifunze. I realized that God wanted us to know because it was what was going to make us understand this world. Paul speaks here about faith. But he says as it is revealed from faith to faith Say 
Recently. Nisikize. Ah, uh, recently. Hivi karibuni. I was standing about faith. Nilikuwa nafanya uchaguzi kuhusiana na imani. I came with my deacon this morning I was telling him. Nimekuja na shamasi huko asubuhi nikiwa ninamwambia Actually God spoke to me until I had to repent. Kweli Mungu alizungumza nami kesi kwamba nilitandika kutubu. Our church has a lot of sins. Kanisa letu lina viti vingi zaidi. And even some of them we are just packed them behind. Na hata zingine tulikuwa tu tumezipanga pale nyuma. But God asked me. Lakini Mungu akaniuliza, "You are praying." Kwa maana unaomba that this church may be filled. Kwa maana ile kanisa lipate kujazwa. That the seats may be seated. Kwa maana ile viti vikaweze kukaliwa juu yake. But if I bring people. Lakini kama ninawaleta watu, what are they going to see? Watakaa wapi? If you have packed the seats There is a so 
Kuna wimbo tu ambao umekuwa ukiima niliokuwa nikiima tu siku iliyopita. Na wakati ile gari ilipoanza kuimba ule wimbo. It is a hit Ni wimbo ambao wa tenzi. Na ambao unasema kwamba nitamjua yeye. Let me ask you
and another day. And their souls now pain is through the pastor. It is now pain. A 
Bible is done. Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the word of God. Concerning prayer. 
prayer. When you enter in the prayer, you may think that you are going to pray for five hours. But when you enter because of faith, the Holy Spirit tells you five minutes ago. Wakati huu anapoimani anakwambia kwamba na Roho Mtakatifu anakwambia kwamba cha dakika tano inatosha. Na unaogoka. Basically, what you now you may think, oh, I pray for five minutes. And I don't need to pray for one hour. Then you will come and pray for five minutes. Never get familiar with them. Last year we had a thing in our church. Last year, we had a thing in our church. And it was saying, The ways of the Lord are unsearching. His ways are unsearching. And so there is a question. I feel this here. Oh, you don't understand. I feel this. 
He doesn't. I will come. I will come. I will come. He says, I am. Meaning he's always there. So in the church, either you feel it, that God is here, or you don't feel it. If he doesn't do it, we are here more than two. I believe according to his word. Chapter 
1 verse 20. Sura chapter 1. Sura ya kwanza. I think it is a second. First Corinthians, I mean second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Chapter 1, verse 20. Sura ya kwanza kifungo cha 20. Second Corinthians. All the promises of God mm. in Him are yes, mm -hmm. and in Him, amen. Hallelujah. To the glory of God through us. Hallelujah. Yes, Mungu apate kutukuzwa. Hallelujah. Every promise of God. Kila ahadi ya Mungu. When it happens in the life of a Christian. Inakufanyika katika maisha yake. It is not for you. Na ukaweze kujipiga kifua. Hapana.
Why are we not claiming the promises of God? Because of lack of faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God.
Hello? Hello? You are not doing it for me? And even if you refuse to give your time, do not think that God will leave me sleeping. Ah. If he sent the ladders to the cave concerning Elijah, Yet they love me. God will cause an unbeliever to feed your pastor. I'm telling you the truth. I have seen it myself. The church where I was. You still refuse. God will use someone. Do it. Do it. And see his promises for feeding you. Let's pray. Father Jesus we bless you and we thank you such a wonderful day of worship joining together with the brethren here in your presence we are we give you all the praise and all the glory that your word actively is working in us we will live beyond the thoughts of humanity that we will move by your leadership in the worship and faith will work in our lives we will please you in our service we will please you in our family in our families that we shall live by God we worship and we worship in Jesus name we pray Amen. Hallelujah.